Hey there guys, um, today we'll be taking a look at this Lamborghini set um, that I recently got off, got off eBay. Uh, I think this set is two years old now. Um, I don't think I ever saw it in stores. But I got it off this guy, John Mirabella. He's probably watching, so sorry if I butchered your second name. Um, but he, he has a Facebook page and he sells his cars and and such like that. And he has, he has quite a lot. Um, so if you're interested, just look him up on Facebook. Um, and he has stuff on eBay as well. That's where I got I got these. Um, and I also got the American Steel set, which I did a video on earlier. Um, I think this week or a few weeks ago. I can't remember. But yeah, so that's his card. And I'll just... There you go. Yeah, so that's his card there. Um, we won't look at them in any particular order, I guess, like like that or something um, we'll have a look at the Sesto Lamento um, so I've only got one other oh wait no sorry two two others of these um, the I guess it's the first editions one uh, the one they released with the Need for Speed movie uh, it's a mainlines one it's all grey like the the real thing um, and then I've got the factory fresh five pack one or it's something it's called something else um, that's red, and now I've got this black one with um, the yellow uh, accents. I think this looks really, really nice. Uh, I think the yellow on the bottom is a bit too much, but I like the I like the wheels a lot. Um, I think the front looks fantastic. There you go. Um, I like the back as well. And the, with those little details, oh, potato quality. I think it says Lamborghini. Yeah, it says Lamborghini on the back. Be nice if they included real light decals, but can't have everything. Um, the Reventon. So I don't, I, I don't have any of these castings except for two or one technically. Um, but I'll get to that when, uh, uh, in a bit. But yeah, the Reventon. Um, this is the Roadster. Uh, as I've said, not a fan of convertibles or supercars without roofs um it's all right nice color um weird colored wheels I feel like they should have been chrome or the same color as the car maybe or black I do really like the back um, it's quite nice uh this is the model before the aventador and this was based off the design anyway um oh, i think it was a it was a specific jet fighter i think that they styled it off but yeah really cool car i never got my hands on the first editions or anything um this is the the normal one um I, i'd much prefer this uh, although i think the stripe looks a bit strange nice color um not a fan of those wheels <laughs> that color but yeah it's a cool casting um and yeah this is also the i think this is the first one out of the two it was this and then the Roadster. Uh, but yeah, really cool car. Um, the Urus. I uh, don't particularly care for this car. Other than it, I think it's trash in Forza. I think it's an awful car. It's ugly. It's big. It's stupid. It's unnecessary. This is the concept version. Uh, the, the real like working one you can go out and buy. Uh, it's a little different. The wheels are smaller. It's got a bunch of fake vents as, um, oh, was it not Chris Harris? Harry, um, from Harry's Garage, he, he drives it. Uh, he, do, I don't think he particularly likes it either. I think it's just a bit dumb. No need to have a, an, an off-roading Lamborghini. Uh, oh, jeez, this is heavy. Um, so this is pretty much the main reason I got the set. Uh, the Countach. I don't have... A Hot Wheels Countach. Uh, I think my dad has one in this casting, an old one. Um, this is like a really old casting, I think from the 80s or something. But his one's all scratched and the wheels are crooked and all that stuff. Um, but this is really, really nice. Also, no, I do have a Countach. I've got the tuned one. Uh, but I don't have a normal one like this. Although, I wish that the, the rear wheels were like the same size as that, but... Oh well, it's a really cool casting though. Um, I don't, I don't think I'll take it out 
probably just leave it. But yeah, very, very cool. And it's all metal as well, which is, an, uh, I guess, a nice inclusion. Oh. Um, yeah, so the body's metal, and so is the chassis or the, the base. So that's kind of nice. Um, this one, don't particularly care for this car. I think it was in, I think it was on Top Gear once. Um, it was like, I think it's like just Lamborghini going, oh yeah, we can, we can make a sedan. Yep. We've built it. And here, here you go. But no, yeah. Not really one I care for. Estoic, Estoic or something. I don't know. I don't know. My, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Um, not, I don't think it's a very good looking car, I think it's kind of ugly, but it's not nice colours, I like the gold wheels. Um, and then, okay, so, I had, or have, and I don't know where it is, uh, I think I got, I think I sold it, um, but I had an Aventador at some point, it was matte black, uh, it had chrome rims, I think it's like these rims, oh, excuse me. Um, but a friend gave it to me and it was, I think it had been played with a little bit, but not, not a lot. Um, but yeah, so it's nice to have this car again. Um, I wish Lamborghini would stop using the Aventador format for all their bloody cars. They, they keep using the same engine, same wheelbase, same chassis, and just re changing the body and being like, oh yeah, new Lambo. Um, and they keep making different versions of the Aventador, like the SV, the SV Roadster, um, and all that. It's just, make something new, please. Stop. I'm getting a bit sick of this car. But yeah, it's a cool car. Uh, the Murcielago. This is probably one of my favourite ones. I've got a... Um, I don't know if you can see it from here. The orange one there, second from the... Um, left, oh, now I have to zoom out, um, I forget what it's, Tomica, I've got a Tomica one, an orange one that a friend got for me, uh, I think from Japan, uh, so it's just on my wall, but this is quite cool, I don't have another one of these, um, I think that, yeah, they did release the SV version, um, but that was only in the speed machine series so it had rubber tires i think an all metal body and um is quite expensive now it's got the rear light and front light decals and this weird these weird stripes on the front which i think look look a bit weird i wish it was longer um then it look more accurate to the real thing um but yeah it's still a, still a cool cool lamborghini i think this is one of my favorite ones Despite it, I think, being a bit more simple and tame compared to some of the other Lamborghinis. But yeah, so that's the whole set. Uh, I did get some other stuff from Big W. There's only three cars. I might do a video. I might not. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.